Hey you guys, oh, let me back up so you can see me. I'm in my spare room today because um, it's just loud in the house and I just needed a quiet space so I can record also just uh, a little frazzled. I uh, So first of all, hi, it's day six of my juicing. I uh, was watching the news a little while ago, which we won't talk about. But a friend of mine called me and said, oh my God, do you see what's happening? And no, I didn't know what was happening because I don't watch the news. Um, so I got wrapped into that for a little while. Um, but so I'm coming down in my quiet space, wrapped in my blanket. It's a little cozy, so it's nice. Um, so what's going on? I took some notes today so that I could keep my thoughts together um, and make the video more productive. Um, so basically, it's day six, I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm having um, major, major detoxing. Well, I won't say major detoxing, I'm detoxing. Um, I have what feels like a cold. I feel my throat is scratchy. I've been sneezing and blowing my nose all day. I actually went through an entire box of tissues, of a 300 count tissues. I opened it this morning. I finished it this afternoon. So I am blowing my nose like crazy, um, sneezing, bringing up stuff when I cough, eliminating that. So stuff's happening here. Stuff is happening. Um, um, I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, last night I was really, really hungry and I'm sure it could have been a mind over matter situation teaching moment for me, but I caved and I had two navel oranges, those nice big dark orange oranges, deliciousness. I ate two of those and I had one radish, a rogue radish at the bottom of my refrigerator and a carrot. Um, they were going to go in a juice at some point, but I ate those suckers because I was hungry and I just didn't want to fight it. I just wanted to, to eat it, so I ate it. Um, I don't feel bad about it, I, um, which has prompted me to change the name from Solid Food Vacation to just de detoxing. I'm on day six of my detox because that takes me out of the Solid Food Vacation um, realm. And you know, you have some people who are like, well, that's not a Solid Food Vacation. Okay, yeah, you're right. So I'm gonna change the name. It's, <laughs> it's, um, day six of my detox with fruits and vegetables, um, primarily juice. And um, I'm not gonna go down that slippery slope where I'm um, gonna have things every day to chew on, but if the sensation comes up again and I just can't fight it, then I will again have some juice, um, some, some fruit to chew or a vegetable to gnaw on. Um, but I'm gonna stay away from the cooked food, I'm not even using my dehydrator. It's gonna be raw, 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 and mainly like 95% juice. Um, and that's where I am. I'm, you know, coming from the sad way of life, standard American diet. I went vegetarian seven months ago, and I've had cheese probably four or five times in the seventh, seven month time period. Like, you know, if we ordered a pizza or if I got a veggie burger and I wanted cheese or a birthday celebration where I had a piece of cake, you know, that's made with eggs and milk. So, so I've had dairy um, a couple of times, um, but for the most part, seven months, no animal flesh. I've not eaten any animal flesh. So I kind of just jumped right into this juicing thing because I've done a couple of water fast, three day water fasts, and a couple of five day raw food things where I'm just eating like big bowls of fruit and salads and things like that, but never a full juicing experience like this. So needless to say, it is challenging. I'm happy that I'm here and I'm going to continue and um, Last night I did not do the sauna or my Wim Hof, no cold shower, no meditation. I just read my Bible app and lay down. 
after my walk. Today, I did oil pulling, bouncing with Bernie. Hi, Burns. Um, I did morning meditation. I read my Bible app already. And I'm about to, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to um, boil my distilled water for my neti pot because I don't like cold water going up my nose. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to boil it and let it cool down. While it's cooling down, I'm going to get in the sauna. I'll do my evening meditation and then I'll take my neti pot into the bathroom with me, do my cold shower, do my neti pot just to flush my nose a bit because my nose is sore, man, from blowing it all day. Um, so I just need to flush some of it out just to thin things out a little bit. I'd rather it run a little bit than it be so stuffed up that I can't breathe, which is the situation I'm in now. I just have to keep like blowing it out. Um, so I'm going to do that. And what else did I want to talk about? Oh, and I took the time last night to write out my why, because I think that's really important. It'll help me stay focused going forward. And when I do have that sensation that I really just need to eat something, I need to read my why. And I have a couple of them. And a lot of it is because the world is collectively sick right now, like with the C word and that other scary, deadlier C word. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in the world and people are just sick and we need to worry about ourselves and heal ourselves. So I have PCOS and I also have, so PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I also have fibroids. I occasionally have enlarged tonsils to the point where my doctor said that if I come to his office again with enlarged tonsils, he's scheduling a, a tonsillectomy. Now, and I also had a tumor of my thymus gland. My thymus gland was removed in 2010. And I was told at that point that I had cancer of the thymus gland. Well, long story short, I go back for my follow up and they said, oh, we made a mistake. It was just enlarged. You didn't have cancer. Um, so you're good to go. No explanation, no why this happened to me or anything. So I'm missing an organ basically because all signs led to cancer and they said, oh, you're fine. You're, you're good to go. Um, and I never questioned the why until maybe a year or two ago. I started putting the pieces together. Okay, PCOS, fibroids, enlarged tonsils, enlarged thymus gland, all of those things are inflammation. That's acidosis. That's me not treating my body properly, my lymphatic system not draining properly, my adrenals are wrecked. I did this to myself and with my eating and my environment. And I have to figure out how to fix it because obviously doctors are not going to help me fix it. I have to fix this myself. And um, so here I am. That's why I'm here. That's my why. I want to be able to live as long as I can and thriving and not just surviving. I see family members of mine in pain and dealing with it. I don't want to be that. I want to do everything I can to give myself the best opportunity and quality of life that I can. So um, I think that's all I have for today. I just really enjoy the community that has surrounded me and the motivation, the understanding, the gentle pushes when needed. I appreciate all of that. And hopefully, you know, we'll continue to support each other and just love on each other. But I'm going to go. Um, this is probably the longest video I've done. I pride myself on short videos. But I'm just really run down today. Like I said, the scratchy throat. Um, I've been fighting a cough while I've been talking to you guys. So I'm going to get some juice. And today I did do um, a full three liters. And I'm about to go get another 16 ounce jar of juice although it's 5 30 and um, my window is pretty much closing but 
my throat's dry, I need the juice. So I'm gonna have it, I'm not hungry today. I, I did really good, not hungry. I think just having those couple little things yesterday just like gave me that push I needed to keep going. And if I need to do that again, I'll do it again because it's all about healing and it's not a race and I don't need to prove myself to anyone but myself. I'm just really, you know, trying to be honest and hold myself accountable. And I said that if I'm going to make these videos, I need to be honest and be candid. And if I slip up, although I don't consider this a slip up, but if I slip up, I need to talk to that as well because I see some other videos where people are totally saying this is rainbows and butterflies and running in the park and la la la. And I'm like, how do they do it? Like, don't they have hard times? Like, if somebody's always just talking about their positives, those of us who are struggling look at them and feel like, how come they not, they're not struggling? What is wrong with me? And I'm here to say that there's nothing wrong with any of us. We all have our own personal things. And yesterday was a struggle. And I'm sure I'll struggle again, but at least I'm preparing myself with tools and surrounding myself with a community to help me through those struggles. So thanks again. I'm gonna go, um, I started watching um, The Celest Celestine Prophecy on YouTube. It's a free movie. Read the book years and years and years ago. And I've been thinking about it a lot again lately. So I bought a used copy from the bookstore and I'm going to start that book again tonight. And just like magic, you know, those algorithms, they, they know what you're thinking in your brain of the movie pops up on YouTube today. So I'm going to watch the, I'm going to finish watching the movie and then I'm going to start the book and I'm just going to take it down, relax for the night, stay off social media, stop watching the news and just, um, you know, recenter myself because it's necessary. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.